Hello everyone! So today I am going to be testing out the new Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Liquid Lipstick. So today I am going to be trying out this lipstick for the first time on my lips and seeing how it wears throughout the day. Um, I won't be doing a ton of check-ins because I work today, but I will try my very best to do some check-ins today. So I thought it would be really fun to do a video like this with one of my newest liquid lipstick purchases. So if you haven't heard, Too Faced just came out with their own liquid lipstick, so they're kind of a take off their regular melted lipsticks. Now what's interesting is that these are kind of a cream lipstick, so they actually come out of the tube like this, but I definitely feel like they are a different formula than a liquid lipstick because this is a creamy kind of lipstick. So it definitely is a melted down version of a lipstick, but it doesn't last as long as a normal liquid lipstick. So I am very happy and excited that Too Faced came out with their own version of the really popular liquid lipsticks that are trending right now. So I have the box right here, so I'm going to just read a few details and information about this product to you guys from this box, and if there's any missing information, I will go on to Too Faced's website if there are any information or ways to apply it that might be different than how I would apply it. So on the box here it says, matte color gets a melt over. Our innovative formula glides over lips like a gloss, but dries to an ultimate matte opaque finish infused with a no sting plumping filler. So that's good because I don't like those lip products where they're plumping and they burn the crap out of my lips. So that is very nice. And it says, melted matte ensures color always looks rich, full, and kissable never dry, shriveled, or cracked. And then it says Volulip gives a plumping, smoothing effect. It has a lightweight, long-wearing formula and features avocado oil, vitamin E, and hyaluronic filling spheres. And it has an angled applicator that allows for precise application. So this liquid lipstick has quite a few claims. It says that it will keep your lips moisturized and not dry while lasting all day long. So I feel like that's a pretty high claim considering that liquid lipsticks aren't the most moisturizing lip product in the world. It pretty much just says the same thing on their website, but it says to mix two shades to create a custom matte color and then hashtag get melted on social media and show us. So it doesn't really have any directions for how to apply it or anything like that. So this liquid lipstick comes in 17 shades and I have it in the shade Queen Bee. This shade is currently sold out on Too Faced.com and Sephora.com and none of these lip colors are sold on Ulta.com. And also the shades Child Star and Sellout are also sold out on Too Faced.com. This is actually one of the liquid lipsticks that I got on my birthday and I saw it in Sephora stores and I knew that this was sold out online so I was like, it's destined, I better pick it up. So now that I've said all the details, Let's just get right into applying this baby. All right, so I zoomed in pretty close. This is what the applicator looks like. It's a doe foot, but it definitely has a little reservoir in the doe foot that holds all of the product. So this is what the packaging looks like. It kind of looks like an upside down version of their regular melted lipsticks. I've got my Sephora mirror here to apply it, so hopefully that doesn't get in the way, but that's just what I'm looking down at to apply this lipstick. It definitely appears a lot lighter on your lips than it does when you swatch it on your hand or how it looks in the bottle, in my humble opinion, but it looks really pretty. I'm just using the little top part right here to apply it on my Cupid's bow. So this is how Queen Bee looks on the lips. I think it's actually a really pretty color. Now I feel like I applied a little bit much so it looks a little bit dark but you definitely can uh, apply a little bit less to make it look a little bit more neutral and more lighter. But it definitely is that really trendy like mauve gray nude color. But it definitely has a little bit of pink in it so it doesn't look 
too out of the ordinary when I'm wearing it because I feel like in a lot of my lip products I have to have a little bit of pink in there to make it wearable but so yeah I definitely think this looks really good I think it looks really pretty um, I was a little bit nervous wearing it today because I am going to work today and I don't like to wear super bold makeup when I go to work, so I was a little bit nervous because I swatched this and it looked pretty dark, but it definitely appears a little bit lighter on your lips. This formula is definitely a little bit sticky on the lips, but it's not annoying. See, it doesn't really stick, and when you're talking, it doesn't really bug me at all. It definitely is a mix of liquid and cream formulas. If I had to rate it on a scale from 1 being super liquidy and 10 being super creamy, I definitely would say between a 4 and a 6, kind of there. It's definitely in the middle. It doesn't transfer at all, so that's really awesome. Yep absolutely no transfer. I feel like on camera it definitely looks a little bit more gray, but in person it definitely has a little bit more of a pinky, almost purpley undertone, but it's not ba bam purple. So, but it definitely looks more gray on camera because of that kind of purpley mauvey undertone and because of the lighting. I use natural lighting, so and also all of the lights in my room are turned off, so I'm literally just using the light from my window that's right in front of me, so it might look a little bit light, but I definitely am kind of liking this color. Now, I didn't apply it very evenly, that's kind of user error, but other than that, I think it looks really good. But it definitely feels very thin, it definitely is more on the liquidy side. I really like the dough applicator. It's definitely, uh has a little bit of a reservoir to hold product, but it's not huge. It's definitely more of a normal dough applicator. Um, but it's a little bit small, so it can, like, fit on the edges of your lips. And, you know, the Cupid's bow has a really nice pointed tip, so that's really, really nice. It doesn't feel too dry on the lips either. Uh, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. It doesn't feel dry right now. I did put a little bit of lip balm before I did all of my makeup, but I think that definitely has worn off a little bit. So I definitely think it's not too drying. We'll see how it goes throughout the day if it gets more drier. And the only thing it is showing a little bit of the cracks on my lips. So if you have a lot of cracks on your lips and it's gonna it's gonna show up a little bit. Thought I would zoom out a little bit because I felt like I was a little bit close, but I really wanted you to see the lip product up close. But so far, I am liking it. I definitely think it's okay to wear to work and not too, too bold, but I think it is a little bit more on the bolder side. I definitely wouldn't really recommend wearing liquid lipsticks to work unless you work at like Sephora or something, but it's definitely not too bad and not too too bold to not be able to wear to work. Now this is the only color that really appealed to me in the whole line. Um, there was one or two other colors that were more neutral that I was kind of thinking about, but they almost looked too nude, but then on the website they looked really nice. And I definitely feel like the lip swatch is a little bit more representative of the lip swatch on the Too Faced website, which is super nice. It might be like a tad darker than it is on the website, but overall it's lighter than I thought when I swatched this on my hand in Sephora. So right now it is currently 122. I do work for seven hours today from 3 to 10. So I don't know if I will be able to update you guys, but if I do, um, I will try to update you before I eat anything or something like that. I don't know. We'll see if I can update you. I usually don't have time to really look at my phone while I'm at work, but I will try since I have such a long time that, that I'm there and I'll probably will take a little bit of a break to, you know, eat something. So hopefully I will do another update or a check-in and I will see you guys then. Okay, so I'm just about to go into work. I did eat like a bar and some chicken salad, so I didn't eat too much. So the inner rims, you can see a little bit that it's worn off, but it's not too bad yet because I haven't really eaten a full meal yet. But yeah, it's about 2.46, so I'm about to head into work. I start at 3. I'll either update you if I take a break at work, or I'm definitely going to be getting some dinner after work, so I will update you then. It will be a lot darker outside, so the lighting will probably change. It's not too dark. It's definitely appearing darker on camera, um, but it is a little bit out 
of the ordinary because it's a liquid lipstick so it just kind of automatically looks like I'm wearing a ton of makeup but hopefully it will be all right so anyways just wanted to give a little bit of a tiny check-in before I worked for about seven hours <music> I finished my shift I worked all day long but I think my lipstick lasted pretty good now there is it's not a white line but it's just your like extra like skin is but other than that it's doing pretty darn good I am going to get something to eat because I'm starving and then after I eat I'll update you and then I will do like a final final update at my house with my camera and everything so just wanted to let you guys have like an actual update I know I did a little bit of an update earlier um, where I ate like a couple bars but that honestly wasn't much it didn't do much to this liquid lipstick which was really nice so we'll see how dinner does so I'll see you in a few seconds in YouTube land all right so here is the final update so my lipstick does not look perfect as you can see the inner rims there are definitely worn off. Uh, for dinner I had a burger, some curly fries, and chicken nuggets. So really the only thing that might have removed some of the lipstick was a burger, but I was actually pretty careful eating the burger. I ate it like I normally would, but I just was a little bit more careful than usual. But other than that, this liquid lipstick is so good. It lasted the whole day. Now my lips do feel dry, but there are not very many liquid lipsticks out there that don't make your lips feel dry, so I'm definitely not disappointed by that. Um, it definitely feels less dry than like a lot of other liquid lipsticks would, So, and this lasted such a long time. It looked pretty much flawless the entire day until I ate. Uh, it did get a little bit under my, like above my chin and my lip right here, but it's not a lot. Like honestly, this formula is so great. It's definitely one of my favorite formulas of liquid lipstick that I've tried and I knew that it wasn't going to last throughout a burger or a really big meal because not many liquid lipsticks do. The really the easiest way to take this off is through oil. So obviously anything with any oily residue that you eat is going to remove some of it. So I am super duper duper impressed with this liquid lipstick. I'm sorry the lighting is off. It's dark outside. It's like 1130 right now. But anyways, I think this liquid lipstick is amazing. Definitely worth the money. I really liked this shade as well. It's really a good introduction for me to get into more like the gray lipsticks because when you put it on it definitely is more of a gray. But it is mixed with like the purple mauve, even a little bit of pink. So it's makes the gray like more wearable. It's such a unique color and I understand the hype for this color because I know this color in particular is pretty hard to get your hands on and also I like how it appears a little bit lighter on your lips than it does swatching on your hand in Sephora or something so that makes me kind of want to try some of the lighter lipsticks. I forget there's like Child Star and Stella and I think Stella is the other one I kind of want. But so I'm really glad that I got this liquid lipstick and I really like the formula. Two thumbs up, two faced. You did such a good job. I think it's such a beautiful color. I really suggest you guys go and try this out. I'm really impressed. So and it lasted the whole day. I want to mention that there is absolutely no transfer. There was a little bit of transfer on my napkin after I ate, but it was literally just around the outer edges. Let's just try it again with this napkin. There's a tiny tiny bit on the outer edge but other than that it's really good um it didn't do it on my hand either now let's see how it reapplies itself i'm doing with this with no mirror so wish me luck all 
Also, after a long day, it loses that stickiness that I was kind of talking about at the beginning of this video. I feel like it applied really good on itself. Let me just double check in like a real mirror. Okay, so it didn't reapply as nicely, but it definitely isn't bad. I mean, it definitely is a little bit crumbly from how dry my lips were, but it definitely wasn't bad at all. It's not a perfect liquid lipstick, but... It's just a really nice formula. Last, la it lasted the entire day. Also, I was afraid that it would look too dark on me, but my manager actually gave me a compliment on the color, so that was a good sign to start with. So, very impressed with this liquid lipstick. Really like the formula. I really highly recommend it. Now, that was just my first impression wearing it, but it honestly left me a really good impression. So, anyways. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried these Too Faced Melt and Matte liquid lipsticks or really any other liquid lipsticks. I think I want to try and do a video like this for Dose of Colors and Anastasia Beverly Hills because I haven't tried those out yet and I'm really excited to try those out and some other ones as well. So please leave a comment down below where you can let me know what kind of first impressions or reviews you would like to see. Also, I hope you guys really liked this video and thumbs up if you did. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.